Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your running late again host, Anon Jr., and I left the TARDIS way back at spawn. So, uh, the, this is the first stream since we created it that I didn't start with it somewhere in the frame. Uh, I'll fix that before the next go round. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I had quite the day at work, so today is going to be a little more chill. Uh, I'm going to start working on hollowing out my little corner of the mountain over here. Thank you, medic. Um, somebody, uh, somebody already get some llamas? Oh, yeah, somebody's already started collecting llamas. <laughs> Uh, one of the things that I do want to do is, uh, probably not on stream, but before the next go-round, I want to go over to where Arcadia set up the snowman and start replacing these giant drifts of powdered snow with regular snow because I've, I, <laughs> I already lost a fair amount of items in the powdered snow. A skeleton shot me. Some of my items fell, you know, two, three blocks down into the powdered snow. And I tried retrieving them and found a zombie stuck in the powdered snow, who also promptly killed me. And uh, I was not able to retrieve either set of items. So, uh, in the interest of preserving everybody else's items, it would be nice to, to have that squared away. Uh, I did get... No, we ran, I, I think it was on stream, or maybe it wasn't, maybe it was the afterwards, uh, ran into a spider spawner, and I got a little XP farm going right here. It is sufficient for the moment. Yeah, we'll go with sufficient for the moment. Um, I need definitely definitely need to do two very very important things um i need to get an off switch because this is the community area this is where people are going to be spending a lot of time which means that this farm is going to be loaded all that time uh, which means these guys are going to be eating up the mob cap and that's going to interfere with what other people are doing so I'm going to have, as soon as we get more redstone materials, I'm going to have to knock out that wall there a little bit and run a switch to a redstone lamp over the spawner. So that way this can be turned off. Uh, th this is the easy spider farm that Shulkercraft put together. There's the URL for your reference. Uh, in their design, they actually had this trapdoor up here, but the XP doesn't seem to want to come through there. And I'm not entirely sure that uh, I even need either of these. But I'm leaving them there just the same. So far, nobody's been able to get me or get out. Uh, so far. Also, I would love to get an enchanting setup for uh, Bane of Arthropods. I've found one small problem with this. The... Right behind, right behind these slabs, there's a couple of fen uh, brick walls, stone walls. I swear it sounded like I just heard a skeleton. Um, and so occasionally, items will fall behind the slabs, and they won't get picked up by the hoppers, which are under these slabs. Because the idea is that the spiders will get over the slab, and that way when you kill them, their stuff... How did you get in there? No, seriously, how did you even get in there? There's there's no spawnable space in there. I... Uh-oh. Alright. Well, I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that later, too. Uh, because that's... That's a problem. He shouldn't be in there. That means that there's got to be a wall out somewhere. Or a hole in a wall somewhere. Because the entire floor back there is covered with water. 
So there is legit no spawnable space for him to be there. Anyway. So those three hoppers go into these three barrels, and one of the things that I will need to do is get overflow protection, so that way, if somebody were to like try to AFK with a clicker or something like that, uh, these don't fill up and everything back up, and then the server starts crashing due to too many entities. Um, not that we've never had to deal with that before. So... I know that I'm going to need a fair amount of sticks, so the one thing I do want to do is get my temporary uh, bamboo farm up and running so that way I can at least harvest enough to, uh, to get enough sticks to <laughs> maintain the pickaxes that I'm going to need for, uh, for, the, for today's big dig. Uh, I don't... Hi. Don't know how many big projects I'm going to get into early because I still need to do a backlog of website updates and I need to finish getting the Wandering Trader uh, data pack put back together so that way we have our custom Wandering Trader with the mini heads and all that uh, that I know everybody loves and enjoys. Uh, I need to find more iron too. Iron Farm. That is on the to-do list as well, but not not right this minute. These two chests full of randomness are not uh, they're not sufficient. I may need to make a bunch of signs too while I'm at it. Oh, oh, thank you. Sorry, I completely forgot that I had left it in uh, sub only in emote only. Um, Short-term memory something or other. It, it, it was a rough day at work today. I think I mentioned that. Can't remember if I mentioned that. Oh, okay. Those better be people outside. Dying in the snow. Uh, oh, this. Yeah, I was trying to figure out a way to make this a little more compact. Hello, beach duck. Uh, I was trying to make this a little more compact than my standard design. I was kind of hoping that, like with the kelp, uh, the observer would detect the change in stage. Or, you like the headphones? Merry Christmas. Uh, I was hoping that the observer would detect the change in state for the bamboo and fire so that way I didn't have to wait for it to grow three high before harvesting. And, uh, yeah, it just doesn't work that way. So I'm going to have to move this up one block, move this up one block, and then go from there. Um, oh, well. That's just the way it works, I guess. I was kind of hoping for better, but... Hopes and dreams and all that. Uh, eventually... <laughs> eventually I'll get an actual proper bamboo farm going uh but uh that's that's for another day all right it's gonna go there that's gonna go there that is supposed to help keep the bamboo from getting pushed off into weird places although i really need to replace those with blocks uh i had mostly done it that way for uh so that way uh I'd have some visibility into what was going on. Alright, so we get 21 at the start. We'll see how long that takes to go. I am noticing some weird visual glitches, and I think those are due to Optifine. So I may I may have to go without Optifine for a little bit, or see if there's an update. Um, and actually, since I got those guys going there, I no longer need these guys here. And I'll figure out a better way to go about that right now. Or later. Uh, yeah. I also need to get some food going. Some longer, longer term food going. Uh, this. Where was this when I needed it last season? Uh, I don't know if you know this. Or you probably do since this feature's been out for a while. And it was a, a mainstay in a bunch of the hermits and 
other other more prominent streamers setups uh lava over dripstone with one of the little dripstone is it stalagmites or stalactites the ones that point down uh will eventually drip water into a cauldron and you'll be able to harvest them so you never have to worry about uh, running out of lava. You now finally have a way to get infinite lava. Assuming you're patient enough for it to drip and drip and drip. Uh, most of the larger scale farms are set up with massive arrays of pistons and whatnot that move a, a, a feed tape of cauldrons around uh, collecting multiple cauldrons of, of lava at a go. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if this could be used for furnace fuel and just be one of those things that when people have the time run by get a bucket of lava drop it in and go although i think i might i might stick with my original plan and put together something with the carpet duplicator that i used in season two on skyblock and just try to get something a little more industrial with that that's the thought one of many um of course, I also realize that part of my problem is, <laughs> is uh, I, I need to knock this wall back. I want to, I don't like this door at all. But it's going to stay that way until I get enough redstone resources. Because I'm going to have a 3x3 three three, uh, gravity block base door. So there'll be some triple piston extenders underneath. And they'll push up uh, white concrete powder. And I'm going to try to get this to blend in with the snow a little bit better. So it'll be a little more of a, a more subtle doorway. And uh, I also have to figure out what to do with that. And I have no idea why I put the random crying obsidian there. Other than I had two and I needed to fill two spaces. The interior, I'm not going to go with the dripstone. I don't like it. I was playing with it, trying to get it to work. And I just, I don't like it as a permanent thing. So what I'm probably going to do is get a bunch of deep slate and blackstone and start doing some stuff with smooth, uh, oh, and smooth basalt and start doing some basalt, blackstone, and deep slate. Uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and get, uh, get a couple of these next to each other just so that way we can kind of see the color palette I'm thinking. So... We've got our basalt and smooth basalt. We got our blackstone and we've got deep slate. Although I should probably go ahead and just, uh, cause it looks like the basalt and the smooth basalt are the same, except for that top part. I hadn't had a chance to actually look at it once I had crafted some up. So, It'll be a little gray tone. Maybe, maybe I'll do something different with the wall, like do uh, do some of the deep slate tile or deep slate bricks. Um, do I have... Let's, can I turn the tile into other stuff? No. Of course not. Um, let's get a brick. Let's get a polished... Just so that way we got those varieties to play with. There's nothing you can make with the poly or with the smooth basalt. The only thing you can make with basalt is polished basalt, which is kind of sad. Uh, I thought I could take the deep slate tile and do something else with it, but I guess I was thinking of the cobbled deep slate. There we go. Because I know that there's also deep slate bricks. Um polished deep slate and all its variety and then the chiseled deep slate that uh, I might use for some decoration around there somewhere too although I don't know that there's enough variety in that so it might have to be something with uh, looking, looking with some designs or I don't know Let's go ahead and get uh, get one of those in there too. Uh, 
So we got we got, we we got some different. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. So we got some different different varieties of textures and shapes, like the tile and the brick and the smooth and the brick and the smooth. Um, we just don't have. That's not a lot of color variety. So maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. It's all highly speculative at the moment. Let's uh, do that like that. That like that. Go like a so. And like a so. There we go. So we got black and we got various shades of gray. Maybe not. Maybe that is too gray or too much gray. Oh, well, that, that, I'll let that sit for a little bit while I think about it. I, mean, I could. I have already ventured into the nether, too. And I could always throw some nether bricks in there, too. I wouldn't mind getting some red nether brick together. I'm still kind of cranky. I didn't finish that, uh, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't finish that challenge in Skyblock. All right. Enough yammering about that. Uh, let's, let's get to digging. Except, I gotta figure out where I'm digging and how far. Hi, Medic. Are you on? <coughs> I thought you weren't gonna be on until, uh... With, uh, work and all that. I got off on time today, so I decided to uh, to go ahead and join. Ah. But I, I've basically been on all day, just working on stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yeah, like the enchanting setup that we got now? Nice. Hey, it's better than none. There we go, full, full enchanting. Sweet. And check it out. Ready? Yep. Boom. Nice. It has mending on it. I found oh. mending in a uh, in a desert temple. Ah. Do. You... Hang on. Let, let's go make a grindstone real quick. <laughs> so that way we we can disenchant the stuff that displeases. Uh. Wait. Oh wait. We need what logs and a smooth stone slab or a stone slab. Uh, so Stone. Ah. I am going to go back off of uh, voice. Okay. So I, I still got stuff going on. Okay. There we go. Grindstone. All set. Matter of fact, I'll probably make a second one and uh, drop that somewhere else too. Yeah, I've got to turn that off. Those guys, those guys are, uh, <laughs> those guys are going to get to be a bit something. Oh, hey, uh, don't forget to pick up your uh, spyglass if you haven't already. And I need to make sure that Reyes and Arcadius know that there's a spyglass down there for each of them. <laughs> okay, awesome. my problem is is that's going to be in the way and that's going to be in the way so let's do this let's get ready to move this let's grab some dripstone and 
pointed dripstone. That's what I was trying to remember. Uh, gonna need cauldron, a space, the pointed. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna be able to move that there. No, I'm not gonna be able to move that there. I guess I'll do this. Take some of that iron that I just cooked. Let's uh, go ahead and move our color palette out of the way. I meant to check and see what the uh, blast resistance of a deep slate is. I know it's harder to mine. And haste doesn't speed it up, unfortunately. for now. I'll fix that later. This is, this is just a temporary... I need, uh, I need more. I think I'm gonna start using some, uh, lava for more cooking. Let's, uh, get one of those there. Get more somewhere. Dripstone is fairly easy to come by, and I almost forgot until I saw it while caving. Uh, just like you can do this to get lava, you can get more dripstone by placing water over a dripstone block. And as the water drips, it will make more and bigger dripstone, which is kind of neat. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's just put that there for now. All right. Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, this is so janky. It's okay. It'll be fine. Is that going to cause all three of them to drip? Causes that one to drip. Oh, so I don't need a single source over each of them. That's good to know. That's really good to know. That seems dangerous. All right, I'll figure out. I'll figure out something better to do. Well, hopefully, I'll get enough iron to make a third one of those before too long. Uh, let's also do that. And pointed dripstone makes dripstone blocks and two by two square, which is also good to know. So you can get a pointed dripstone farm going and use that to make more dripstone blocks, which is kind of neat. Um, you know, it's not safe to go outside. And I keep looking for the coffee I didn't make. It's probably a sign that I, I ought not to anyway. Okay, so that is all right. We'll see if those we'll see if those two fill up before uh, before the stream is done. Let's get a couple of snow blocks out here somewhere. For now, I'll fix that so it looks better later. I need, I need to figure out how this is going to go. So I'm going to have my big 3x3 three three door here. I want that to go into a small foyer, because I need to get past the snow on the mountain anyway. And then maybe here. 
So we'll have a, a small, if this is the center, one, two, three, four, five. I'll put down a better floor when I get there. piston door is either going to be there or one further back. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that is my one problem with bamboo. It takes forever to grow. forgot I got that diamond pick that I can go ahead and try to try to enchant and see if I can't get see if I can't get a maybe may, may, I mean surely at some point I should be lucky enough to get mending maybe although honestly at this point I, uh, fortune would be fine too Let's, uh, let's... Oh. I need levels. Maybe I should just leave the scaffolding up for now. <laughs> There's a light up there. Uh, some Bane of Arthropods would be really nice to worry about now. Get, uh, Sting. Put it on a little item frame over there. Fortune, sharpness. Oh, and a garbage disposal. I need a garbage disposal. That, that'll probably be part of the overflow, so that way anything that doesn't fit in those three barrels. Or, or I could just filter out the spider eyes, since we never seem to need those anyway. Filter out the spider eyes and set it up so that way um, <laughs> they, they, the spider eyes just automatically go in the trash. Can't sharpness and bang? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Cause sharpness, bane, smite, and... Uh, there's one other, isn't it? That's mutually exclusive. Alright, bane, fortune... Mending. I thought there was another one. Uh, here's my cheat sheet of preferred enchantments. Okay, so yeah, we we uh, mending, unbreaking, looting, sweeping edge, and bane. And then maybe fire aspect. I don't know. I, I'm sure Reyes would love to see the spiders burn before they die. Uh, oh, and if you, in case you're wondering why this seems like it's running a smidge slow, that's uh, because it is, and I deeply suspect that part of it is because we've got massive amounts of unlit caves underneath us. Uh, I got lost down there a couple of times trying to find various bits and bobs to make this finished. I made sure the entire shell of the farm was polished, uh, polished fancy stones, so that way it would be, uh, <laughs> it would be hard to accidentally break in. Because that has happened in the past where we just kind of left the, left the room natural and... Uh, man, sounds like there's some spiders on the other side. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
So to keep that kind of stuff from happening, uh, it, it's all polished stone, so that way it's very obvious when you run up to it that you've run up to something that uh, you probably ought not bust your way through without knowing what's going on. Um, fortunately, I only lost one life to the building of this farm. I, I believe that puts me at a grand total of... Damage, 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 distance. Uh, I kill. I got killed by a skeleton. It says I've never been killed by a spider, but I'm pretty sure that spider killed me once, and a zombie got me once. Oh well. Uh, I'll have to get on with the camera account and record a couple of bits, so that way you can see the inside of this too. Although, yeah, I mean, you can see it from the Shulkercraft video. Uh, just on the inside, there is a water trap that keeps them from getting stuck on the ceiling. The only place where they're likely to climb up the ceiling uh, has some falling water over fence gates that pushes them back down. And of course, once they drop down to the ground, they, they see you. Come here. Let me whack you with the, the nub of my sword. Alright, I really thought 32 levels was going to come a little bit faster than this. Uh, let me see what I can get with what I got. I'm cheap. Efficiency's not bad. I'm breaking one wouldn't be bad either. Oh. Really? Really? <sighs> Fortune would have been really nice. Alright. Forget it. I'll do this later. I'll do this later. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like messing with the enchanting table. I, I don't. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to this. Um, let's get the shield out of the way. I don't want that taking up too much inventory space. I want that to stay somewhere safe. Alright, let's try to figure out what we're going to do with this. I forget how long it takes on average for these things to fill up to. Alright, so I, I want like a five or six deep um, entryway. I don't know that I'm going to leave it as wide as this. I, I might even put the move the wall in here. So that way it's three blocks on either side. Go in the little hallway and then out. But how far out is the question? Um, I got the wrong... Uh, I got the wrong cheat sheet up. Let me go back to my graphics to remember. Because I've got one that uh, is basically a bunch of different Minecraft circles and, and how to make some circle adjacent stuff in Minecraft. I mean, look, it's a game of blocks, so you're never going to get entire circles. And I, th I know that I want, once you get inside the main area, there to be a grand stair circular staircase winding up that way, a grand circular staircase going up that way. And then it goes to a balcony. So this is a big open area. Uh, how big and how open, I don't know. I think I'm going to want 25... I can't remember if that's a 25 block radius or a 25 block diameter. Uh, 
and I can't zoom in enough to actually see. So let's let's assume. Ah, let's just go out 20 blocks in either direction and go from there. Although I need to make sure, because I know Arcadius is over this way. I don't think I got to worry about that. Uh, are you looking at the one that's over my that um, um is on my screen, or are you considering a different reference? Oh no, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm very careful not to uh, not to infringe on anybody else's space. All right. Um, why do we get the? F I really, I'm really worried that those guys aren't filling up, and because that source is the only one effectively dripping. So even though we got the dripping animation there. Let's just, uh, let's see how far that goes. Uh oh, I hear lots of clickety clack. Yeah, you say that now. <laughs> I may hold you to that. And, oh, okay, so that did fill up. But did it fill up because I put a source over that or because it was eventually going to fill up anyway? That is the question. But either way, you know, that means fuel... Okay. Focus. Or not. Um, if, uh, if we're assuming that's a 25 block diameter, that means I need to go 12 in each direction from here. So if that's center, one, two, three, four, Five, six. I need torches. And I just realized that torches would be a really, really handy thing to have. Where was I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Uh, and in order to do a bunch of the stuff that I want to do, I'm definitely going to need to make an ice tray somewhere. But that really won't matter until until we start getting some silk touch tools. Uh, I'm looking at some different iron farm designs because all the ones that I know only work in open spaces or up in the air. And... We want to build in the ground this time, so I need to find a an iron farm design that is uh, subterranean friendly. I think I know of one. I just got to figure out how all it works and take a look at that. One, two, three, four. It's gonna be five, six. What, an underground friendly one? So you don't have uh, golems spawning all sorts of places you really didn't want them. Okay. Stick. 
stick those there for now. Was I doing again? Oh, I was supposed to actually be clearing out a proper space. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so twelve that way, twelve that way should get me twenty-five total, counting the one in the center. I keep forgetting that the lighting update means I don't need to... I don't need to be as uh, particular with how close I place the torches as I used to. But, uh, old, old habits die hard. kind of happy for the gravel patch. That means I'm going to be able to clear out a section <laughs> a lot easier. Uh, all right, let's let's do this because I hate having to go back and recount every time. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Twenty. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I just need five more. So that should be 25 out this way, at least for now. And now to start hollowing out. The, 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 the somewhat tedious pre-game, early, I, I wish a beacon was on the horizon... <laughs> Beacons. Yep. That's not a thing. Um, I don't even know why I'm trying to be organized. I got two chests. The things you take for granted. Although, nobody, nobody ended up with a beacon on Skyblock. And not for lack of trying either. Uh, the... the coming across wither skeletons was kind of hard and honestly I don't I don't know that anybody was all that keen on uh, setting up a wither fight <laughs> on their island uh, I know I wasn't all too all too keen on the idea uh, I'm not gonna lie I 
I really had to think long and hard about that one. Like, uh... I mean... I wanted a beacon. But I didn't want a beacon so bad I was gonna go do a big aerial battle over... over... an easily <laughs> destroyed island. That, uh, that, that was not... not quite my, uh... Not my thing. Not my thing. This is why I was hoping for more sticks sooner. joys of early game. I know that for priority early game priority early projects, builds, things community storage needs to be one of them that needs to happen soonest or at least sooner. Um Science that was. One, two, three, four, right? Okay. Uh, hello? Speaking of unlit caves, there appears to be one inside my little corner of the mountain. That's going to be one of the ones that we get. Uh, I gotta. I'm gonna have to do very early on is hunt down those those things. The the so that way, once a mob farm is put together, we can uh, we don't have to worry about random caves taking up mob caps and stuff. Oh, that was one of the things I was going to mention too. Uh, my next couple of weeks are probably not going to be doing community stuff, so I'm going to be handing a lot of that off because I need to get the Wandering Trader updated so that way everybody can have their mini heads up here when the Wandering Trader does, not just the Wandering Trader mini head. It, it, I already see where they're collecting. Um, I need to do a little... Is that a zombie villager? Oh no, that's a pillager. That's got to be on top of the mountain. Because I don't think the pillagers spawn under the ground. Can the pillager and a zombie get in a fight and I just sit back and watch? Where's the popcorn? Mmm, popcorn. Anyway. Um, uh, so I, I've got, I've got more than a few projects, uh, that I need to get, I need to get a, I need to catch up on the backlog of website updates. Uh, I gotta get the wandering trader done, and I gotta do a little more research on modded server software. Um, Skyblock ran like a charm. Uh, vanilla is giving us all sorts of trouble, and I don't know if the problem is 1.18 in general, vanilla in particular, or what. Um, I was originally going to use the modded server package known as Paper, 
except I've been I've found a lot of places where people mention that paper has one really annoying problem. Uh, when the server starts running behind, it'll just randomly not do a task. So you could uh, <laughs> you you could have something running and it just randomly not happen because the paper server decided that uh, it was going to skip that task to make that happen. And that to me is not, that's not good. That's not good. We, we can't be having that. So as much as I would love to do, to do paper because it's easy. Uh, nope, not going to happen. Pretty sure I already have a bunch of cobblestone walls somewhere, but I just need something to stop these guys from popping out. Hey, even just go ahead and do that. So that way I at least see that it's there. That was probably the least convenient place to put this whole thing, but all right, it's temporary anyway. I was going to use Spigot, but Spigot also has some problems with some of the updates being being kind of random when you're not when you're trying to run a vanilla server on Spigot. Uh, so, matter of fact, Spigot might have been the source of some of the some of the weirdness that we had on Skyblock. It might not have been Skyblock itself. I think next up on the list to double check is Fabric. I am told the modded server, known as Fabric, is probably one of the better ones out there. What I have not figured out is if that is server only, or if that also requires a modified client as well, or if that it's like you can do either or or both. That's the part that I get to research because I want to make sure that if uh, if I make any changes to the server, it's something that everybody can still access easily. And um, yeah, that's, that's going to take a little bit of time. Plus, I've got that guitar that I've got to finish. I did not get it done in time to ship out for Christmas. Uh, I, I got a little more work done on that yesterday. Uh, I got the first coat, the first of the three, four-ish coats of wipe on poly. Uh, I want to give a little more protection over the shellac. Technically, the shellac is more than enough finish to uh, to protect the wood. However, it will dirty over time and require touch up, uh, which in furniture building is fine which is where you see a lot of shellacs used uh, or in instruments that routinely see the inside of a shop where where somebody's set up to do that kind of stuff like we use shellac a lot with the violins violas cellos and upright basses but those are all on areas that it's easy to scrape and refinish uh, on a guitar finish however yeah <laughs> uh, you would have to take the entire thing apart to scrape and refinish. And that, that to me, doesn't sound like a gift. That, that sounds like work. I keep looking. I know. A watch bamboo never grows. Let's get this coal real quick. Because I'm going to need that for torches. 
I mean, I guess since we get fire tick off, I could just light fires everywhere. Of course, that doesn't mean I won't accidentally kill myself and lose all my stuff in a fire too, so maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Too. I'm actually noticing that we're coming up with a lot more iron than we used to this early in the game, at least, you know, pre-iron farm iron. And now that you can fortune iron, that, that really makes me want to go back and uh, go ahead and just get the, the fortune the fortune set up on, uh, on a pick of some sort. Let's just put that there for now. I'll go grab more of that later. Uh, let's, let's focus, focus, focus. Clear out the space. Okay, I can't focus because I set that at the wrong level. There we go. You know what I miss? Efficiency netherite pickaxes. <laughs> That'll come soon enough. That'll come soon enough. Uh, but anyway, the, the wipe on poly should protect the finish enough that uh, just some basic polish and uh, more standard guitar care should keep it clean and intact and all that. Um, so it should actually be useful. And that's why. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that's why those fence posts are not going to work. Uh, unless I just start throwing more more fences at the problem. There we go. I just got disconnected and reconnected from my own chat. And for some reason, it says that Medic Frog disabled subscriber only mode, but my sub only chat slider is still looking like it's enabled. I do not have the mental space for these shenanigans. So I think I shall ignore them. Yeah, I I don't I don't know. It's been that kind of day. It has very much been that kind of day. Matter of fact, I I'm not likely to need an axe. I I don't even know why I'm playing inventory management like this. I, I don't know. Okay. All right. Onward and forward. Or at least onward. I'm going to have to make some more torches in a little bit too. Because I want to make sure that this area stays appropriately lit up. Um, so anyway... I definitely want to turn this into a grand, grand mansion type ballroom entrance. I want to make sure that I actually do some purely decorative rooms for a change, just for the sake of doing some decorative rooms and not uh, trying to trying to get a little more. A little more practice on that side of things.
I keep forgetting that I need to I need to look off to the side there as well and make sure that uh, the area is lit enough that it looks okay. one of those. Let's not waste a lava bucket. I mean, I don't know. I've only got more coming. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I need to maybe I'd take a uh, take a little break to go hunting trees or something. I don't know. I think I'm about to run out of uh, sticks before they before I get more back out of that, or before I get more than I'm using out out of that. Here's the question. Will one of those two fill up before uh, before that furnace runs dry? Right. Uh, I no longer hear the zombies. I wonder what's up with that. Far enough 
is it that they were closer to the surface and I'm now finally far enough away that I don't hear them? Did that actually? Okay. Definitely going through the sticks faster than the bamboo farm can produce anything usable. So a a bigger a bigger bamboo farm is definitely on the agenda. Or a proper bamboo farm is definitely on the agenda. I'm kinda torn between doing something like that tiled out into a larger scale, which I've done before and it works. Um, I'm also I'm also deeply curious to try a flying machine based farm because I've never done I've never done that style of farm before. Uh, but first and foremost, we gotta find we gotta find some slime chunks because not just for the machines themselves, but to do any of that kind of stuff, uh, we need. We need, uh, we need slime balls, slime blocks, and that kind of thing. Uh, I might, uh, I'm sorely tempted to take a shortcut and, and, uh, and get, uh, was it chunk base? I think it's chunk base and load the uh, the world file into that and just see if there there's any slime block slime chunks in the near air in the near vicinity instead of just clearing out a massive space below y equals 40 and then hoping something spawns uh, one of the things that I also need to double check on is since they lowered the floor below zero to see if there's a bottom level under which slimes do not spawn. I can't remember if there was or wasn't, and that's that. That seems slightly important, especially if I'm going to build a uh, a farm based on that. Uh, that seems like the kind of thing you ought to know is where the bottom should be. Um, I might just do the same basic farm design that I did in Skyblock because that definitely seemed to be productive enough and it's got an off switch which would be nice as well. Uh, although this time if I do that I'm going to build it up high enough that I can run a redstone signal from the storage area over to uh, the on off so that way I can either manually turn it on or off or once storage backs up it automatically turns off because uh, wh whether we go with a modded server or stick with the plain vanilla we definitely definitely need um, to be mindful of resources and stuff and I don't want to be the one contributing to the crashing with uh random entities all flying around from a a farm gone amok. Another way of saying I need lumber. Do, do I? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
trying to remember now. Duh. Oh, yeah, that's right, because uh, they changed Emerald Generation, so that should be more more in the mountainous areas above ground rather than just the randomly rare thing that is rare regardless. I can't remember what the what the minimum was, so I'll go ahead and just use the iron pick for that. I should have a little bit more rhyme or reason to where all the torches go. And I'm probably going to end up pushing walls further out that way and that way before this goes round. I, right now I just want to clear out the space for the stairway and then figure out how tall that's going to go. Um... That's the thought at least. Also it's kind of nice to do a little bit of mindless Mindless mining um, with uh, some of the work stress going on. I gotta try to get stuff together for Friday. I really want to get games revisited going again. Uh, there is a small chance that Friday might be one more guitar stream. Uh, it depends on how long it takes me to get the next couple of coats of clear on... On, uh, on the guitar body. And I'm probably going to put at least one, maybe three, depending on how smooth it finishes out. Uh, coats of the wipe on poly on the neck and I gotta look and see what out of the options I have available is a good way to seal the fingerboard uh, because I do want to make sure that the fingerboard doesn't pick up a lot of the dirt and gunk and stuff and is easy enough to to clean I, it may just be a case that I just need to throw a coat of wipe on poly on the uh, on the fingerboard as well and if that's the case, then awesome. All the better. That just makes life easy. Or if I can, I might just do that anyway because I'll have had, I'll have had the poly out. And uh, it's a lot easier to work with uh, what you got in hand. space already. Uh, I need to bring some of that down to community storage anyway. Later. Actually, once community storage is built, I, I may just build a uh, build a pipeline to go run straight from my base into community storage <laughs> and then I can just dump stuff in there from here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing this year. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have a... I need... I need a longer term plan. And that is one of the things that I had intended on doing. But I just... I don't know. I do not know. Oh, yes, I'm on. The thing that you put on your bar is right where you put it on the bar, so it'd be easy to find. No, I am gonna. I know this is gonna have to go up. I just don't know how far up I can bring it and how far up I want to. Uh, I think I don't know that I want. I want some wide open spaces, but I also want. Uh, some pillars, decorative, large decorative pillars, but it's going to have to feel appropriate for the space that it's in, and that, that might be the problem. Uh, it's 
stairwell first, I guess, and then I can start figuring out uh, everything else from there. Including the floor. Because that, yeah, that's just not doing it for me. Sleep for a minute. Because I don't need to worry about running out of lava. It does seem to be filling up faster than the furnace is burning through it, so this might be a nice alternative for a small, like, artisanal batch furnace array type deal where I can get three furnaces going and. Ooh, that reminds me. I got the cobble. Let's, uh, let's get the dirt put away. Put that guy there and that guy there. breaking this down into actual stone. Come on, guys. I slept. Go away. Worse than daughter salesman. Oh, that's what I need to do. My next voice back needs to be the zombies. And instead of the, the groans, the errs, they, they, they need to say, I'm calling about your warranty. No. Too real. <laughs> get, them, get them to come in. Hi, I'm calling from Microsoft. <laughs> some other ones because I, I need I need variation in it so uh, I'm calling about your car's warranty I'm calling from Microsoft oh 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 uh, I'm calling from the IRS that, that's that's one of the other ones uh, <laughs> as they shuffle in Zombies can't be the only scammers. We we gotta find something for the for the skeletons to get in on. Uh, the more targeted ones, because they they're clearly the ones that are doing spear fishing instead of just general, you know, hoping we can make it up in volume type attacks. <laughs> oh, never mind. I think I know where all the noises are coming from. I don't have to worry about my basement. That should be easier to dig out. Alright, I hear the skeleton around there. I do not... Oh, hi friend. Wasn't I just saying I didn't want to just like drop in and say hello? <laughs> let me, uh, let me get one of these. 
got all the two arrows. That's not going to do much. Uh, am I am I that hard up on lumber? I am that hard up on lumber. Okay, I'll be back for you. Let let me go get let me go get the stuff to uh, to take care of you. Well, that definitely explains all the monster noises. I, I need to go. Uh, I need to go on a lumber hunt real quick. A lumber hunt. <laughs> what is a lumber hunt? Never mind. Don't. Let's uh. Let's go. Let's go get some trees. Oh. Hi, friend. Can, can I lure the goats into ramming you? Oh, if a goat kill is a pillager, does that mean that we don't have to worry about the bad omen? That's something that bears uh, investigation. If a goat kills a pillager, does it still trigger a raid? Never mind. That was not the intended outcome. That was not the intended result. All right, let's do that. one stone that helps take care of the stick problem too all right we'll replant as we go need to get a proper tree farm going but that's going to be a that's going to be a much later problem that's not going to be a right now problem Some of these are definitely looking weird, and I'm I'm pretty sure that that's an Optifine problem. That's a shame. Although there's not enough glass, so the connected glass might not might not be an issue anyway. Uh, this is because that other tree's right next to it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Give me a problem. Give me a second. That problem will be taken care of too. found it. Alright, that should give me enough lumber to get and sticks to get uh, to get some torches together. We'll see how far my furnace is and uh, get through that stack of bricks. Uh, I wonder if that goes back under my area. That is one of the things I got to keep in mind too. The this mountain's not as wide as I think it is, so I might have to. Actually, that might be what I do, because I don't want to run. I don't want to run out of space going from here to there. So what I might do is I might make sure that I make my way down as I build out and about. I hear a spider. I wonder if he's stuck in the powdered snow. He's probably stuck in the powdered snow. Alright, we're 
it's um, as many uh, torches together as we can at the moment. snow. Not John Snow, just uh, snow. Alright, that's happily making its way along. I've got the first of three refills ready. All the, oh, because that's already started on its second bucket. Okay. It looks like one of those might be able to keep up with a furnace apiece. That's good to know. That's good to know. Alright. Let's, uh... Hi, buddy. Ow! Of course you did. Of course you did. And that's one of the things that I'm worried about, is as those guys... This is about to end badly, isn't it? On the off chance that this ends as badly as I fear it will. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just empty out a little bit of inventory here, shall we? Nothing I can't afford to lose there, except the leather boots. Now, those things are harder to come by than you would expect. Or at least they are right now. There will probably come a time where that's not the case, but that time is not now. Alright. I should be able to go out this way a little bit more. Let's not dig the block we're standing on, shall we? Almost. Yeah, let me light up the area and then I'll go for a nice long walk away and unload the chunk. And then, uh, and then I'll come back. Hi, friends. Alright, here we go. Light the cavern. Light the cavern. No such thing as too much light. All the light. All the torches. Okay, so far so good. I do like that. Uh, I got a couple of veins of iron under there, too. That is something I could definitely use more of, especially if I'm going to be building uh, pistons and such. Trying to get some early game, early farms. Like, I wouldn't mind getting a nice little melon pumpkin farm going right about now. Hi, friend. Come on. Bring it. Where's your buddy that's got my uh, cobblestone? That's not a creeper. That's an emerald. That's two emeralds. I'll come back for those after I've lit up. 
All right, this way is clear. Uh, yeah, I might take a break from digging to go, uh, to go a caving. Ah, that's where you went. some glue looking. Lichen. No, li lichen is what you find when you go dun delving into the wrong dungeon for too long. Although, I definitely need to go ahead and get um, get some shears and go collect some of that. There's probably some water above there, isn't there? Nope. Oh, okay. That's a small cave up under my uh, soon-to-be big cave. At least now that's clear. That's uh, one less area we got to worry about stuff uh, taking up the mob gap. No, I have no idea why I'm going for so much dripstone. Oh, uh, especially since I don't plan on... Oh, well, I don't know. Might be able to make use of that in a farm or something. I'm sure there. I'm sure there's some sort of dripstone based something or other farm. I mean, it's a good way to to deal with stuff that takes fall damage. Uh, because if I remember right, the damage. The damage done when you land on a pointed dripstone is proportional to how far and or how fast you've fallen. Something along those lines. Right. Probably need to go check on my fern eye. I want to make sure I keep them full until the fuel runs out. I'm also deeply curious if, uh... Iron. Um... I'm also deeply curious if... Uh-oh. Sounds like there's another cave around here somewhere. And I have no torches on me. I, I got the coal. I just didn't bring the, the sticks with me. Because I, I, I kind of figured I was dropping myself down into a pit of hurt. guys off. Oh yeah, and those are already full. Alright, I think I will let the lava that's running out now go. And it's good to know that these should fill back up by the time by the time these guys empty out. Matter of fact. Nah, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's let the rest of those run. Run until they run out. That's doing okay. That's one of the problems I was concerned about, though, is... If those guys land over the, the hitbox of the bamboo... And they stay up on the ground until they get pushed off for one other one purpose or another. Uh, a flying machine based system would be able to take care of some of that. 
Um, what else? There's something else that uh, that might be might be able to handle that. Um, There's more torches than I meant. That's not necessarily a problem. My brain. It is dead. that wants to go ahead and keep uh, keep caving down there because there, there was a lot of resources poking poking in the walls right there a lot of iron and coal um, I wonder if I get a fortune diamond pick or not a fortune diamond pick a, a fortune iron pick and uh, split the difference see what we can put on this uh, iron pick real quick and then because if I can get fortune 2 on this thing that that'll be a good temporary bit at least until we start getting some more reliable mending I don't trust I don't trust my luck at that thing I also might spend some time off camera killing spiders Trying to get my levels back up. Oh no! That's right. Fortune is level 30. That's why I didn't do it right away. Although I'm at level 25. Can I can I get that real quick? Is that a real quick? It has definitely been loaded enough. I. That's going to take too long. Uh, I'll do that later. <laughs> uh, I believe that's the second time I said I'll do that later. Because, well, I guess, uh, I guess I'll keep just putting it off and doing it later. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream here in a second, too. I have been nothing but rambly, alternating between rambly and quiet. snorting at me? I knew they made those noises. Yeah, that's that's got to go. That's got to go. And maybe that's what I just gotta keep doing, is uh, keep working the... Uh, Keep working the furnace. That's, that already got me up to level 26 right there. Alright, and I'll leave the bucket in each of those for now. Then I think what I'll do is once once it's burned down, I'll put 
a loaded bucket in there so that way these can start filling up on the on the side. I guess I'll keep uh, I'll keep digging this out until uh, until those burn down. But what I will do is I'll go ahead and call it a stream today. Sorry, not the most exciting stream today. Uh, this Friday, sorry, Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is Coffee Craft live stream. Hopefully I'll have uh, a little bit more, a little bit more going. Th this is the flip side of that early game stuff. Like I have no space to build things. I have no resources to build things. So we're doing the best we can with what we got. Uh, by next week, maybe that'll change. Hopefully, maybe, possibly, probably, probably not. Um, Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is going to be Games Revisited again, although this coming Friday may be one more guitar building stream. Just depends on how long it takes me to get this finished and if I can get it finished before Friday or not. Uh, so I leave it up in the air. If you follow on Twitch, you'll get notified when I go live and you'll see, you'll see what it, what it ended up being. Come join me. All this gets archived later on YouTube. So, you know, there's a link down in the description below to the YouTube channel where the video archives are and hopefully some other content. Uh, new year, new promises. I, I should stop making new promises. I, I should just tell you to go ahead and subscribe and you'll see it when I get started. Um... Maybe I'm in the bad headspace to be doing these kind of outros. Have fun. Oh, 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 oh. Who's available? Yeah, let's go read Beast Lord. He is playing Deep Rock Galactic. All right, I'm going to hit the title card, stick along long enough to raid, and I will see you next time. Hopefully in a better place, in a better headspace.